participated in um, an assassination of the uh, Roman emperor. And uh, it is a day today where we have yet another demonstration of the double standard of justice in America and uh, a further uh, light shown on the fact that um, truth doesn't matter to people who are supposed to steadfastly guard it. We will get to that, but first we deal with the devastation in Logan County where uh, tornadoes touched down last night uh, in and around Indian Lake, Russell's Point, Lakeview. I know the area well. I am from Logan County, uh, although not from uh, those two, either one of those two villages. Uh, my brother lives very close to one of them. Uh, thankfully, he and uh, his property and family were spared. Uh, but it was a very stormy night. I happened to be driving home last night from uh, Dayton around 9 o'clock, and we had some storms blow through in the afternoon that knocked down power lines on 42. A lot of people I know were trying to get to I-70. 42 is a big thoroughfare there. They couldn't get there. Uh, the storms were in and out. Lots of tornado warnings issued. And the worst happened in Logan County where three people are confirmed dead. And the devastation is, in the words of uh, Logan County Sheriff Randy Dodds, who I played Little League Baseball against, by the way. Uh, he says it looks like a war zone. It looks like a war zone. Uh, yeah, the tornado, which you can find video of this online, and it is, uh, it's, a, it's a bad one. I don't know what they'll grade it, one, two, whatever, but doesn't mean the devastation is any less. The National Weather Service will have their investigators out there today to confirm that tornadoes hit the area. But when you look at the devastation, I mean, it's just incredible um, how bad it is. Here is Randy Dodds, the Logan County Sheriff, uh, talking about what he saw when he first drove up on the scene last night. Now, this is a rural area. It is um, 10, 10-ish miles or so from Bell Fountain. Uh, I drive through this area regularly uh, on the way to uh, where my daughter goes to college. And um, it's, it's just heartbreaking to see this. Uh, it's not an affluent area at all. There are people there who have vacation homes, but the areas that look to be hit the hardest here are uh, the people who are uh, the poorest uh, in that area. So uh, they're encouraging people to stay away. I know there's an, in, you know, uh, an interest in seeing just how bad things are. Uh, and there is also an interest in offering help. You know, people want to go, they want to help. Uh, but the sheriff there and other uh, first responders are saying that really, if you show up, you're complicating their jobs right now because they need to get the trees cleared. They need to get in. They need to search these properties. Amber Fagan is the president and CEO of the Indian Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. She says, this is pure devastation. I have never seen anything like this in my entire life. Their municipal building in Lakeview was demolished. Their laundromat is gone. Uh, other buildings in town are completely gone. Uh, here's more from Logan County Sheriff uh, Randy Dodds on uh, the devastation that he is witnessing in this area after the tornado last night. So I used to work in this area. My first job out of college was at the local newspaper there. Uh, the Bell Fountain Examiner would be the local newspaper. Uh, I was a uh, city, it's called a city editor. I was basically the guy who covered the cops, the courts, a story like this. Uh, county sheriffs are used to seeing very bad things. A lot of times, uh, you know, 
if there's a murder, a lot of times if there's a car accident, uh, this is not a job being a county sheriff where you're not accustomed to seeing human suffering and devastation. Uh, but this is out of the ordinary, as uh, Sheriff Dodds uh, made clear uh, in his comments last night. And so that effort will continue. It will be ongoing. I know uh, the local communities around there, uh, Bell Center, West Liberty, uh, DeGraff, Quincy, uh, really good people live in that area. Uh, lots of uh, small local churches, Huntsville, another area up there. Uh, people will pull together. They will support their neighbors. Uh, we will see play out over the next months the essence of what's good about America. One person coming to the aid of another who, through circumstances beyond their control, have suffered a great loss. Uh, in the case of the people who died, obviously, that is the greatest loss of all. When you lose your entire property, when you lose your dwelling, when you lose all your clothes and all that, maybe your vehicle too, your transportation, uh, these are not people who have a big, you know, stockpile of money so that they can handle it. They're going to have to deal with insurance companies. They're going to have to deal with uh, contractors rebuilding or restoring what was damaged. Uh, but this will be a place where uh, good things will happen that will demonstrate the goodness of our country. Uh, that is sadly not the case um, with the judges ruling in Atlanta this morning as it concerns Fawny Willis, Nathan Wade, and their uh, efforts to prosecute Donald Trump and other co-defendants for what Willis uh, believes in her partisan mind was an effort to rig the Georgia election or undo the Georgia election that helped put Joe Biden in the White House. Uh, we've all heard the testimony. We've had fun with the testimony because the testimony in court gave, lent itself to satire and mocking and joking. Uh, a district attorney, someone who has sworn to uphold the law, hired her boyfriend, and there was testimony from Nathan Wade, the boyfriend's former law partner, that Wade's romantic relationship, adulterous romantic relationship with the district attorney began in advance of when the district attorney, Fonnie Willis, hired him to be the lead prosecutor on the case against Donald Trump. She paid him with taxpayer money, nearly $700,000, even though he lacks the expertise to prosecute a complicated racketeering case. We know he lacks that expertise because Earlier this week, the judge, foreshadowing his weaselly decision this morning, threw out six counts of the case because Nathan Wade was such a buffoon that he didn't include the exact parts of the Constitution that he accused in court filings Donald Trump and co-defendants of violating. Whoops. We heard Fonnie Willis and Nathan Wade on the stand both commit perjury by lying. We heard them postulate ridiculous theories that, yes, Wade took Fonnie Willis on lavish vacations, but that she paid him back for every vacation in cash. Any records of that? No, not really. I always keep cash. I've kept cash around forever. And if you dare question the fact that a district attorney who would certainly know about chain of custody and evidence and the appearance of impropriety and all those other things. If you dare accuse her of lying about the cash, well, then you were racist because she got that advice from her Black Panther father. We had myriad text messages and 
phone calls and cell phone ping data that showed Nathan Wade at Fonnie Willis's apartment in advance of the date she hired him in the overnight hours. And then after he left her apartment and went home at 4 a.m., he sent her the baby I got home just fine text. But the judge, though he says there's an appearance of impropriety, says Fonnie Willis can remain on the case. We'll play the audio of the analysis next. These guys, I can eat 55, partly cloudy tonight, and the low 35. A uh, sunny, breezy day tomorrow. Nice day to be outdoors, high 62. Perhaps some breaks of sun, breezy, much cooler on Sunday. High Sunday at 50. Some sunshine, a rain or snow shower in spots on Monday. Breezy and much colder on Monday at 37. And then times of clouds and sun for Tuesday, high Tuesday, only 40. I'm Steve Williams on 98.9 FM, The Answer. President Trump calls Matt Dolan unfit to serve in the United States Senate. The feelings mutual. Dolan publicly attacked Trump on Twitter, calling him a liar. He gave more than 20 grand to rhino Republicans who supported Trump's impeachment. Dolan said the Republican Party should move on from Trump, and Dolan opposes Trump's America First policies. Dolan says he's not running on the agenda of former President Trump. Trump hate rhino. Wrong for Ohio. Send a pro-Trump conservative fighter to the Senate, Bernie Marino. Breaking news in the Republican race for Ohio's U.S. Senate seat, President Trump now endorsing Bernie Marino. Trump endorsed Bernie Marino. My friend Bernie Marino. My complete and total endorsement. Bernie Marino, the Trump-endorsed conservative for Senate. Club for Growth Action is responsible for the content of this act. Paid for by Club for Growth Action, not authorized by any candidate or candidate's team. Club for Growth Action. The Officer Tatum Show. I'm going to give you a nominee that's happening this year. That'll give you more proof that something must be crazy going on. Because there has never in the history of the United States of America where a president had an approval rating like Joe Biden in one real election. It is very clear that Donald Trump should have a stupid victory. And I know that he's winning and that they know he can win because they're coming after him with stupid stuff. The Officer Tatum Show. Weeknights at 7 on 98.9 FM. The Answer. Hey friends, whether it's the melting winter snow or the spring rain that's coming, if you've got roof leaks, that water's coming in. Well, actually there is, but you've got to take the steps. This is Bob Branch, and that step is to call Sky Roofing at 614-280-9308. Look, Sky Roofing is not some fly-by-night storm chaser company that comes in after a storm, claims they fixed your leaks, then disappears before it starts leaking again, leaving you to find someone else. No. Sky Roofing is here for the long haul. They've been serving Ohio homeowners for over two decades, and their pledge is to treat your roof like it was one of their own. So if your roof is in disrepair, maybe you've got some gaps in the shingles, or maybe your roof has served its time well for you, but you just need a new one, the damage that's going to be caused by all of those leaks is going to be worse than the cost of getting it done right. Do yourself a favor. Get it done right. Call Sky Roofing, 614-280-9308. Call today, get a great quote, learn more at skyroofing.com. Skyroofing is roofing by flight. This is a special alert to all Americans who own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles with an auto warranty about to expire or with no warranty coverage at all. Due to a decline in the economy, CarShield is announcing a low-cost, month-to-month vehicle protection plan that is now available to the public to save any driver out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. Call now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. Yes, you heard that correct. Pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. An open phone line has been established for all drivers to call for a free quick help. Call 800-353-2973 now. Drivers who are covered will not have to pay for covered repairs again. This protection plan is at an all-time run. Additionally, drivers who activate this vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing, and car rental options at no additional cost. Call us for your free quick book today. 800-353-2973. That's 800-353-2973. What do you have to lose? Call 800-353-2973. Again, 800-353-2973. Well, the storms made it hard to sleep last night because you were worried about your roof staying on your house. But in a typical night, if you're not sleeping well, it could be because you're sleeping on sheets that are a little irritating, not soft. And if you want to fix that, well, now's the time because the prices on Giza Dream bed sheets at MyPillow.com have never been lower. 
Queen size sheets, a set, $59.98. That's crazy. King size, $69.98. Yes, they have California King. Yes, they have twin. Yes, they have full. You have to go to the website, mypillow.com, to really see the array of products there. Of course, they have many different pillows of all different softness levels and like. And you also could get a towel set, my slippers, great gifts, wedding season's coming up. Do you know what? would really be an awesome wedding gift or a graduation gift for a kid heading off to college. The gift of a great night's sleep. Mike Lindell and the people at MyPillow.com can help you with that. And so can I. Use my promo code, Bruce, when you go to MyPillow.com. So I'm not the least bit surprised that um, the Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee has... Uh, allowed Fonnie Willis to remain on the case, the racketeering case that she's brought against Donald Trump and his co-defendants. Not the least bit surprised because this guy's a young guy. He's in his 30s. He's a judge. He's never been elected. He's probably positioned himself as well as he can, uh, being white in the city of Atlanta and being a Republican in the city of Atlanta to be reelected. And that had he said, well, the appearance of impropriety. Oh, wait, he did say there's an appearance of impropriety. Try to figure this one out, ladies and gentlemen. Bonnie Willis can remain on the case if she changes prosecutors. So Nathan Wade cannot remain on. Or Nathan Wade can remain on and she'll have to recuse herself. So let me get this straight. They had a long-term affair that started before she hired him. She benefited from it with lavish vacations. He benefited from it to the tune of $700,000 paid way more than the other two prosecutors on the case. Wade has to leave the case. Are you waiting for a penalty? Because I'm still waiting for a penalty. Does he, get to, does he have to give back the money? No, he doesn't have to give back the money. Do either of them get prosecuted for perjury, disbarred, jailed? No. So again, we have a case of a clear multiple violation of the law and no accountability for it. We live in a culture now where accountability is not popular. Uh, it's interesting. The uh, famous attorney, Alan Dershowitz, was on the Megyn Kelly podcast yesterday. And Alan Dershowitz is a Democrat. Alan Dershowitz is an old school liberal. I'm sure I wouldn't share a lot of Alan Dershowitz's uh, views on life. But I'll tell you this, Alan Dershowitz is a pretty smart guy because here is what he said was going to happen before it actually happened. thousand dollars if this judge believes them it will really disserve the interests of justice everybody knows that they're lying and therefore there is a real conflict of interest but i suspect the judge is not going to have the courage to uh to find that boom nailed it the judge did not have the courage i wonder what it's like to make a compromise of your integrity and character and everyone who views you in your role knows you made that compromise. I've lost jobs before because I wouldn't do what bosses told me to do that I knew was lying and disingenuous. If I paid a cost for it, yeah, but I can look myself in the mirror at night and know that I did the right thing. Uh, maybe McAfee will have all the mirrors removed from his house. Uh, I would highly recommend that. Maybe it'll allow him to uh, get some sleep at night, even though that voice inside him will tell him what, uh, well, we'll just let Alan Dershowitz articulate what the voice inside Scott McAfee will tell him.
Now, you might say, well, that's ridiculous, Bruce. He's a judge. She's a DA. The judge has more power. No, actually, the judge doesn't have more power. He could have disqualified her from the case, and then she would have been free to investigate him for anything she wanted to investigate. She already proven with Trump that she'll invent a crime if the one is not there. So this guy doesn't want someone whose campaign he contributed to, someone who he used to work for, he doesn't want her coming after him. So that's the basis for the ruling today. He's a coward. He's a coward, just like Alan Dershowitz said he is. He's a coward. Here's Georgetown Law Professor Jonathan Turley on the ruling today. Yeah, so make sense of that. You can't make sense of that other than Scott McAfee, the judge's personal interest in sustaining his career. That's the only interest you can make. I don't want to anger the electorate of Fulton County because I know they'll vote me out of office if I disqualify Fonnie Willis from the case. It's a county that went overwhelmingly for Joe Biden. And so I don't have the moral courage to do what as Alan Dershowitz and Jonathan Turley, who I would argue are much more uh, 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 honorable legal minds than Scott McAfee. McAfee doesn't, doesn't want to do it because of the personal cost to himself of doing it. That is the epitome of being a coward, is that you're not willing to do something that you know is right because you're afraid to suffer the personal, personal consequences of doing it. So, Willis re remain on the case, and you all saw her on the stand in her on backwards pink dress. She's going to become even more militant, even more unhinged, even more unfair as she proceeds through this case. Maybe there's another body that'll investigate her, and if so, I'm sure that'll be racist. With SRN News, I'm Rich Thomason. The judge in the Trump election interference case in Georgia is leading it up to Fulton County DA Fawny Willis, either fire special prosecutor Nathan Wade, or you're off the case. The United States and allies warn Iran that major Western economies will put new sanctions on Tehran if it goes ahead with an emerging plan to provide ballistic missiles to Russia and the war in Ukraine. At least three deaths reported in Logan County, Ohio, the result of powerful storms that spawned tornadoes across parts of Ohio, Indiana, and Kentucky. First responders arriving at the scene of a Russian missile attack on homes in Odessa, Ukraine, were themselves struck by a second missile. A paramedic and an emergency services worker among 14 people killed. The Dow down 101 points. More details, srnnews.com. The new FedNow system is paving the way for the digital dollar. It grants the government unprecedented access to your financial transactions. This isn't just an invasion of privacy, it's a direct assault on your liberty and hard-earned money. It's another reason why I recommend physical gold IRAs from the Birch Gold Group. I'm Lance Walnut. I'm a news analyst and a podcaster with nearly 25 million downloads to people just like you who cherish their financial independence. A precious metals IRA can help you avoid the scrutiny of Big Brother while also preserving your retirement savings through almost anything, including economic crashes, political instability, and even hyperinflation. To find out more, get your pre info kit on gold IRAs by texting the word FAITH to 989898. Birch Gold Group is the only gold company I trust. 
Get their free info kit and see how a gold IRA can help you. Text FAITH to 989898. Remember, there's no strings attached. Text FAITH to the number 989898 right now. And I pray you're blessed with news, opinion, passion. 989898, the answer. Anywhere you go, with the answers. Mobile app at 989, Also on your smart speakers, to in or IR. What do you want your future to be like? Best in your education today, something that no one can take away from you. Ohio Christian University's online programs for working adults give you the flexibility to take one class at a time to fit your busy schedule. Our programs range from business to psychology and substance abuse counseling. Classes begin on March 19, 2024. Take the next step and call 844-726-7937 today to learn more or go to ohiochristian.edu slash apply. When I grow up, I want to work for a woke company, like Super Bowl. When I grow up, when I grow up, I want to be hired based on what I look like rather than my skills. I want to be judged by my political beliefs. I want to get promoted based on my chromosomes. When I grow up, I want to be offended by my coworkers and walk around the office on exit and have my work police by HR. Words like grandpa, peanut gallery. No can do. When I grow up, I want to be obsessed with emotional safety and do workplace sensitivity training all day long. When I grow up, I want to climb the corporate ladder just by following the crowd. I want to be a conformist. I want to weaponize my pronouns. What are pronouns? It's time to grow up and get back to work. Introducing the number one woke free job board in America. Redbaloon.work. Post your open jobs at redbaloon.work and use promo code SALEM to get 10% off your first month's job postings. He's one of the top 10 radio hosts in the country. He never varnishes his opinions. And now more than ever, you need to spend part of your day with a healthy dose on the Mike Gallagher Show. Weekday mornings from 9 to 11 on 98.9 FM. The answer. RiverbendRanchSteaks.com, RiverbendRanchSteaks.com. What a website it is. You'll get the option to put together your own package of delicious USDA choice and prime steaks. Will the shipment arrive every month? Will it arrive every other month? Well, that's up to you, but I'll tell you this. You've never eaten steak as good as this steak. Why? Because it comes from one ranch, a big one, out west, and it's controlled start to finish. From breeding and the Cattle are selected according to genetic markers that portend the absolute best marbling there is. They breed them. They grow them on the grasslands of the ranch. They finish them with grain grown on the ranch. They drink mountain stream water. They're processed on the ranch, a $160 million processing plant. And they are then aged to perfection, flash frozen, and shipped right to your door. You will love Riverbend Ranch Steaks. Go to riverbendranchsteaks.com slash Bruce Hooley. You can thank me later or maybe have me over for a barbecue and we will enjoy. Riverbendranchsteaks.com slash Bruce Hooley Steaks. So the ruling came down from the uh, cowardly Fulton County Judge Scott McAfee. Fonnie Willis can remain uh, on the case in her unhinged pursuit of Donald Trump. Nathan Wade has to uh, get off the case, but he can keep the 700 grand. Um, can't take the memories away of the vacation to Belize, Napa Valley, although Fonny was there with him, so I don't know how pleasant those memories could be. But uh, no problem with the fact that, uh, for the judge anyway, no problem for the fact that, oh, look at all this cell phone data. Look at all this saying that uh, Nathan Wade was over there at uh, two in the morning. And I don't know, maybe they had a Scrabble party or a Monopoly party, or maybe they're playing Euchre or something. Uh, here's Alan Dershowitz. And this was his comment on the judge ignoring the cell phone data before we knew that the judge was going to ignore the cell phone data. Dershowitz yesterday on the Megyn Kelly podcast.
And he was right, 100% right. Now, what about that damaging the case, this bad ruling damaging the case? Jonathan Turley on whether or not uh, the Trump team will make political hay off this decision. Now, what will be delicious is that if a law Georgia Governor Brian Kemp signed just this week is used to disqualify Fonnie Willis, giving the state house in Georgia the investigative oversight into her office, that would be a little bit like uh, New York changing the law at the last minute to help E. Jean Carroll sue Trump not just once but twice, not settle for the first verdict, which was what, $2 million? And then she got 84 million the second time because he disparaged her over arguing with the first verdict. That would be delicious. Of course, it would also be, of course, racist. But uh, we will see. I'm joking. It's not racist. There's no accountability. Accountability is gone from our culture. And uh, judges in democratic cities are uh, frequently enticed to make a decision about what's good for me personally and professionally as opposed to what is right let's bring it right home here to columbus headline in today's columbus dispatch ex columbus schools controller gets probation probation for sharing images of child sexual abuse i was like well that sounds pretty serious images of child sexual abuse so here's the story oh we have my tablet over here is talking to me. Sorry about that. I don't know. That never happens, and hopefully it won't happen again during the show. Uh, Michael McCammon, age 60, of Dublin, pleaded guilty Thursday in Franklin County Common Police Court in a plea agreement with county prosecuting his attorneys. Good job, Office Gary Tyak. To one count of pandering sexually oriented matter involving a minor. Okay, so here's what this guy did. And he got probation. Judge Chris Brown, remember that name when he comes up for re-election in 2027, sentenced McCammon, who worked as the controller in the central office for Columbus Public Schools from 2006 until his arrest in 2021. McCammon admitted in court to sharing images of underage girls engaged in sexual activities via messages on Twitter. And in those messages, remember, he got probation from Judge Chris Brown, probation. In the messages, in the images that he shared of underage girls engaged in sexual activities, McCammon also discussed sexually abusing children as young as two. You're horrified. I'm horrified. You're wondering, how is this guy out walking the street? Well, I'll just tell you the facts of the case. The facts of the matter are Judge Chris Brown is a Democrat. He's a judge in a Democratic city. He knows he has no chance of being elected if he doesn't do what Democrats want. If this plea deal was approved by the Democratic prosecutor's office in the city of Columbus, then you know that it's what the powerful people in Columbus want because we can't have a former employee of Columbus City Schools sentenced to a long prison term. The details of the case are bad enough. So we have another case, one in Georgia this morning, one right here in Franklin County, and these cases will continue. They will absolutely positively continue because mm, Chris Brown's not up for re-election again for a couple of years. And by that time, people are forget. And besides, nobody will run against him anyway because if they run, they'd have to be a Republican. And in Columbus, they have no chance of getting reelected or getting elected. Because how many judges have we had switched their political affiliation from Republican when they were first elected to Democrat so they can get reelected? Happens all the time, right? 
This is disgusting. It is a demonstration of the further deterioration of truth. I was reading in my Bible this morning in Romans 2, where Paul is talking about uh, salvation available through grace and the fact that no one can keep the Ten Commandments, but he's referring to the Ten Commandments. And he says the Ten Commandments are good because they shine a light on how we should live. And he describes the Ten Commandments as the embodiment of truth and knowledge. The embodiment of truth and knowledge. And he also says that those laws, those Ten Commandments, are written on every human heart. Every human heart knows it's wrong to steal. You know it's wrong to murder. These judges know. They take oaths. <laughs> they take oaths. Scales of justice, madam justice, all this stuff. They take oaths to defend this. They're supposed to be at the top of their profession. Isn't it interesting that a lawyer like Alan Dershowitz, who's not a judge, is more offended by judges? He was specifically talking about Scott McAfee, but he could be talking about Judge Chris Brown here in Columbus. The lawyer Dershowitz is more offended by the disrespect for the law. Why? Because he knows that judges who do what these two judges did damages the overall profession. I always hated it when I was sitting in a press conference and some colleague, and I don't mean a colleague I knew, but you know, if they're in there and they're a credentialed member of the media, they're a colleague, and they would ask a stupid question because it reflected on me. Police officers are the most opposed to dirty police officers. The people who want to staunchly guard the integrity and ethics of their profession are always most upset by people who offend those ethics in that same profession. On Monday, breezy and much colder on Monday at 37. And then times of clouds and sun for Tuesday, on Tuesday only 40. I'm Steve Williams, 9 FM, The Answer. All rise. In a Massachusetts courtroom, the judge concluded that the defendant shredded evidence in the case. The defendant, Bernie Maria, who was sued for stealing his employee's pay. So before the trial, Marino shredded the evidence against him. Shadiness is a pattern of Marino, who quietly supported amnesty for millions of illegals, but now pretends otherwise. You can tell a lot about someone's character by what he does when no one's watching. Bernie Marino flunks that test. And Secretary of State Frank LaRose is no better. LaRose quietly spent your tax dollars to benefit himself politically. And LaRose changed Ohio's ballot language to affect the election results. It was a breach of public trust. Bernie Marino and Frank LaRose, if they're this sneaky and corrupt in Ohio, just imagine if they go to Washington. Buck by leadership fund paid for is responsible for the content of his act. Not authorized by any campaign or campaign committee. Buck by Steve Dodd. The Tilton family at Tilton's Automotive Service has been serving our community with state-of-the-art equipment for nearly 35 years. From oil changes to detailing to complete engine replacement, we're here to serve you to the highest levels and make you part of the family. All our repairs are backed by a 36-month, 36,000 mile warranty. Check out our mobile app for discounts and specials. Tilton's Automotive Service, in the shadow of Anheuser-Busch in Columbus and just off Creekside in Gehanna. For more info, check out Tilton'sAuto.com. Take it to Tilton's. <laughs> We're selling a lot of homes. What? That's right. This is Ross DiGiorgio of Ross Realtors, and we have already sold a lot of homes in 2024. That's really incredible. But the market is heating up, interest rates are coming down, and houses are coming on the market. So if you're thinking about buying or selling, now's the time to pick an experienced real estate company to represent you. Call Ross Realtors, 614-599-6100, or online at rossrealtors.com, and you'll see a chat button. Let's chat. For over 
30 years that Gentle Dennis has been making patients smile. The Gentle Dennis is the only one that I have found that does not give me anxiety every time I have an appointment coming up. They are always so kind and professional, and I have never felt judged by them. I moved two hours away, but still find myself driving back. They're that good. How can we make you smile? The Gentle Dentist. Call 614-431-3311. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few help questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Hey, I want to appreciate and uh, thank those who have reached out and have done business, flooring business with Soft Step Carpet in Plain City since we started talking about the business where I work. Now, if you want me to be the one who comes out to your house, and I'll see you this afternoon, John, uh, then you have to go to brucehooley.com and click the flooring form, or you can leave me a message, brucehooley at gmail.com. But the store is open. You can stop by the store. It's staffed. We're ready to go. We're ready to show you all the great brands that we have there that match the exact same brands that you will find in bigger flooring stores that, you know, they got overhead. They got to cover that overhead. Who do you think they pass that cost along to? Yes, you. That's why we can save you money. And also we have a very nimble operation. We can get that flooring in your home inside of a month. It won't be that way at other big box flooring stores. So keep in mind, Soft Step Carpet in Plain City on 161. Contact me, Bruce Hooley at gmail.com, Bruce Hooley at gmail.com, or go to brucehooley.com and fill out the flooring form and we'll get you hooked up to the Soft Step Carpet in Plain City. So I'm looking forward at the top of the hour to getting to know better a gentleman by the name of Mike Tussie. Mike is running for the Republican seat in the Ohio House in the 73rd District. So that's you, Fairfield County, Pickerington, Lancaster. You've got a great option on the ballot in the March 19th primary. Mike Tussie is running against the incumbent. The incumbent is Jeff LeRae. Uh, Jeff LeRae is one of the blue 22. Jeff LeRae uh, joined in, this being the Ides of March, it's a perfect day to talk about Jeff LeRae, joining with 21 other Republican turncoats in stabbing Derek Marin in the back after saying in December, prior to the Speaker of the House uh, election in January, that two years ago, that uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll we'll vote for Derek Marin as Speaker. Derek would be a great Speaker. Derek would have been a great Speaker, except Jason Stevens, pretty upwardly mobile guy. He wanted to be Speaker of the House, except he didn't have the votes. He had a few votes. He had votes of, you know, Al Catrona. He had the votes of Jay Edwards. He had the votes of Jeff LeRae. Still not enough votes. Where am I going to find more votes? Oh, wait, there's Allison Russo over there, head of the Democratic Caucus in the House. I wonder what I could promise Allison Russo so that I could get all the Democrats to vote for me and we could do a workaround, Derek Maron, so we wouldn't really have to be a conservative Ohio House. Well, Jeff LeRae joined in that. Uh, Mike Tussie, I would assume, will not be a part of that nonsense. You judge for yourself when he joins us at 12.05. So Mike Tussie, a guy with 46 years in law enforcement, a good Christian man, a guy who serves his community. I'll ask him about his service to the community, and you can decide. But Mike Tussie will join us at 12.05. Uh, there are other races coming up that are consequential to you. If you live in Madison County and you don't want your backyard uh, loomed over by a windmill, then I would highly suggest that you make the one of the commissioners who has been, um, well, quite receptive to the proliferation of solar farms in Madison County, that you do what you have the right to. Gates, well, they're pals. Mark Forrest has been a big proponent of the Oak Run Solar Project which would build one of the nation's largest solar farms on 6,000 acres of farmland in Madison County. Who owns that farmland? It used to be nice family farms. Now it's owned by Bill Gates. 
And then Bill Gates wants to put a big old solar farm there and damage the surrounding land. Now, here's something you need to watch out for as you evaluate candidates. This is not just pertaining to Mark Forrest in Madison County, but this is pertaining to a phrase that candidates throw out that can fool you, hoodwink you into getting to voting for them. And then you will find out later, oh, maybe they weren't somebody that I could trust. And the phrase is property rights. I'm a proponent of property rights. That's what the mailers say. That's what Mark Forrest's mailers say. Well, I'm a proponent of property rights too. I don't believe that you should, as a owner of farmland, be told you can't sell to someone unless that someone is like, say, the Chinese Communist Party or the next thing to it, Bill Gates, Mr. Green New Deal, Mr. Vaccine. So I have no problem with farmers making money off their land. I'm a capitalist. I understand that. But let's say your neighbor's a farmer and he plays the property rights card on you and says, well, I'm going to sell to a big solar operation like the Oak Run Solar Project, approved by Mark Forrest, sitting Madison County Commissioner. What if they wanted to put a toxic waste dump there? Would you still be a fan of property rights? What if they put wanted to put something else there? Like, I don't know, a strip joint or something like that. Would you still be a proponent of property rights? So you can be a good neighbor and still exercise your property rights. It's not an either or choice. So uh, Brennan Shea is a tremendous alternative to Mark Forrest as Madison County Commissioner. If you want a Madison County Commissioner in the future who will advocate for you, not for, hmm, by the way, Mark Forrest has a dark money group that's sending out information on him and spiffing his candidacy. Uh, that dark money group's based in Texas. I find that a little strange. Maybe you don't evaluate that for yourself. So a lot of candidates out there and uh, we'll have a couple of them on on Monday. Last minute opportunity for you to order your choices accordingly as the March 19th primary approaches. Uh, we've had Patty Hamilton on. Patty Hamilton is running for the seat currently held by Brian Stewart. Brian Stewart is not, not part of the Blue 22, but Patty Hamilton is somebody who served in the military. Brian did too. Um, I've had Brian on. I think I've had Brian on before. I know I've chatted with Brian at uh, other uh, events. But get to know your candidates. Do some investigating. Find out their background. Are they citizen servants? And then make your choices. Because lamenting after the fact does you no good. Does you no good at all. Now, here's a very uh, uplifting story uh, with an Ohio State tie. You might have heard the name Mark Coleman if you followed uh, the UFC, if you followed uh, Ohio State wrestling over the years. Uh, Mark Coleman is in the news recently. Mark lives up uh, in Fremont, Ohio. And he was in his home, in his parents' home, when a fire broke out. He heard his dog barking. He got out of the home and realized his parents were still in the home. He ran back into the home and rescued his parents, carried his parents out, made several trips into the home to do this. He tried to rescue the dog. Unfortunately, the dog did not survive. And there was some debate, some not debate, there was some unknown about whether Mark Coleman would survive from all the smoke that he inhaled while he was heroically saving his parents. So Mark is in the hospital and it was touch and go for a while, but now appears that Mark has turned a corner and that he is going to come out of this, although he'll have certain health challenges related to it. There's a GoFundMe page where you can contribute to that. Here's a quote that was placed on his uh, daughter's Facebook page. She's writing this. She says, God is good. Miracles do happen. Our dad is breathing on his own. We want to thank you for all the love and support from the bottom of our hearts. Uh, I had a chance over the years to interact with Mark a few times. Uh, he said, I am the happiest man in the world. I'm so lucky. I can't believe my parents are alive. I had to make a decision because I went out of my room and got to the door and it was already horrible. I couldn't breathe. I almost had to go outside. I went back in and got my parents. I can't believe it. I got them, but I couldn't find and he lists the name of the dog. So Mark Coleman won an NCAA wrestling title at Ohio State in 19. 
88. He competed for the United States in the 1992 Barcelona Olympics. The GoFundMe page has raised $69,000. Uh, you Ohio State fans always talk about once a Buckeye, always a Buckeye. If you are able, uh, that seems like a worthy cause to me to contribute to uh, Mark Coleman's GoFundMe page. So hour number two is in the on-deck circle. We will have Mike Tussey, who's running for the 73rd House seat. He's opposed by the incumbent, Jeff LeRae. Uh, I'm interested to hear from Mike Tussey because I'm not a fan of Jeff LeRae. He's one of the blue 22. He's one of the reasons why we don't have Derek Marin as Speaker of the House. So Mike Tussey in the on-deck circle next on The Bruce Hooley Show. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Everyone knows the old saying, nothing lasts forever. Well, whoever said that obviously never bought a time shoe. Not only do your maintenance fees and assessment fees go on forever, they go up forever. I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group. Over 10 years ago, I was a timeshare salesman. All right, guys. Hope you have a good weekend. Uh, hope you uh, connect with your uh, family and loved ones. Uh, hope you have uh, an awesome experience on Sunday in your local church. And I look forward to talking to you next week. Have a great day.